there she is. Come on, Goose. Get out of the way, Goose. Hey guys, today we're gonna actually head to an equipment dealer down the road here a little bit, and we're gonna pick up a new eight by 18 kicker wagon. Um, I've searched high and low for probably upwards of six months for a good kicker wagon used, and I was pretty shocked at the prices that people wanted for used wagons. Um, this wagon here is all metal. Frames metal, running gear, uh, everything. Everything is metal, including the floor. Uh, so, hoping that I get a lot of years out of this wagon this is probably going to be the first of many more wagon purchases to come based off of how many uh, square bales that the customers that I have uh, are in need of it is the wrong color though my case IH friends would be pretty happy with the color but it's gonna look pretty funny being pulled by a John Deere tractor and a John Deere baler Beggars can't be choosers. And we are here. There she is. Come on, Goose. Get out of the way, Goose. my favorite color but she'll do there she is metal deck All right, guys, I got the four ways on and the orange triangle on the back. Now it's time to make the trip home. There we go. got patience anymore. So I know one of the things that you're going to ask is, you know, why do you not have a kicker wagon? Well, so we have a John Deere 336 that is a 1974. Um, in 2000, my wife's family decided to get a round baler instead of a square baler. And in the year 2000, they put that baler away in one of our other sheds and never touched it until 2018. And 
and that was the first year that I had brought that baler back out. And I just wanted to see, one, I was gonna make some, some bales for our dairy goats uh, for the fair, because they're easier to move. And two, I wanted to see if that thing, if that baler still worked. So brought it out, and until the nodders got shined up, I would say probably two or three bales. It didn't tie right, but once the shiners got knotted, or once the nodders got shined up, uh, the baler worked great. So last year, my idea was, well, that's that's cool. We can make some bales for the goats. But why don't I try making a couple hundred and, and selling them? So I did that and I sold out quicker than I anticipated. And uh, now what the plan is, is to get back into making small square bills because now I have uh, customers that are asking for that, uh, that hay again. So, Last year when I made the square bells, I actually borrowed my neighbor's wagon. So I had one, uh, but it, it's not very efficient, right? So you fill up that wagon, you have one of two choices. You can either shut down baling until you unstack that wagon and take it back up to the baler or continue to bale and just uh, drop those bales on the ground, which means you gotta go back through with either that wagon or a truck or a truck and a trailer and pick those up again. So you're handling the bale essentially one time into the trailer, out of the trailer, second time, and then third time you're stacking it. So you're handling that bale even more. So what I'm trying to do by getting this wagon and I'm gonna continue to borrow my neighbor's wagon for the time being um, is to only handle that bale one time instead of three or two times, basically unload the wagon and stack it. It's taken a pretty long time for me to get home though because I can only go 20 miles an hour. I don't know if the, I don't know if the, here we go, there's one, there's two. I don't know why this other person's waiting, but, uh, I don't know if the baler has, or if the wagon has flat spots on the tires, but the front of it is boom, 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 boom. It's trailing behind me fine, but I'm also going pretty darn slow. to what I was saying before we had no once we put that baler away in two in the year 2000 we had no reason for hay wagons they just sat there um, so my father-in-law sold I think we had three three or four my father-in-law had sold uh, those three kicker wagons that we had and uh, thinking that he would never get back into square billing so now we gotta get new ones, or used ones, that aren't as much as a new one. I can tell you this, I love days like today. It's not super sunny, it could be a little bit better on that aspect, but it is 68 degrees right now, a little bit humid, but it's, it's nice and warm, windows down. This is not, March weather for us um, and I'm really sad to see that Sunday night into Monday is supposed to be 37 degrees so we're going right back to where we came from but as the proverbial saying goes make hay while the sunshine and enjoy the weather while it's here holy cow is that thing bouncing I can tell you this, I sure hope that these are flat spots on the tires causing this bouncing. 
because if this thing trails this bad, I'm gonna be upset. She's finally at her resting spot for a while. So thanks for following along today as we hauled that wagon home. Uh, it wasn't as smooth as I was hoping, but it wasn't bad either. Just couldn't go fast. Um, probably the beginning first couple first couple days in June. Be pulling that bad boy out, filling it up with first cutting. Hey guys, don't forget though, if you like what you're seeing, give the video a like. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Follow us on Rocky Acres Farmstead's Facebook page for more content, more videos, more everything. And don't forget to stop over at the Instagram.